right, guys. All right, guys. It's Friday night. I'm headed to Tall Pines ATV Park tomorrow. It's going to be a muddy mess. It's March 17th, or actually uh, March 15th, I think. It's St. Patty's Day weekend, but I've got two different types of bike cleaner, or bike gum, bike shine, I guess you would call it, and they're both a little bit different formula from what I can see, but they're both meant to do the same thing, and that is to shine your bike or uh, to make it easier to wash after you get it covered in mud. So what I'm probably going to do here is a little bit unscientifically spray this down. I'm going to split this 50-50. Uh, I'm going to do the driver's side with this CR Viking ATV and side-by-side -side shine, and then I'll do the other side with this Maxima Products SC1. Most of you guys are probably familiar with this if you're into the sport at all. I wanted to do a, a video on this because this is something that my buddy has manufactured for his his brand. They sell a lot of CF Moto parts, but obviously this is something you might use no matter what brand bike you got. So this is kind of what the can looks like. Pretty neat looking can. CR Viking, that's their parts brand, I guess. And then they got ATV side-by-side -side shine. Um, like I said, we're gonna use this, not so much as the shine, although it will shine it up until we get it dirty, but it's gonna be more to help us get this cleaner, faster, when we get back on Sunday. I'm gonna go down, um, I'll go down the driver's side with the CR Viking, and then I'll go down the passenger side with the SC1, and I'm just gonna do this, like I said, as scientific as possible, but very unscientifically. I'm gonna count and maybe spray like 30 seconds worth on this side, you know, um, try to get everything as good as I can, and I'm gonna do 30 seconds on the other side, and that's about all I can do. You know, I could do like an in-shop, um, test and maybe i'll do that too but uh let's do this come back on sunday see how it works so it says on this uh actually i'll tell you right now i like the way this can sprays a little better but it says on this that the, the cr viking that it's actually a mineral oil that's your active kind of ingredient which makes sense i mean growing up as kids oh it smells good too it's actually got like a fruit scent to it that's cool but um as kids like growing up on dirt bikes and stuff when we were going to a mud race we'd always spray our bikes down with wd-40 and that would help us um wash them when we were done racing or riding or whatever the case was so you know somebody obviously saw an opportunity there with a product marketed directly towards that type of thing but yeah this i don't know if it's the pattern or that it's just coming out of there faster or what but it definitely sprays a little nicer than the I'm, you know, I could care less either way. I don't use these products all that often. Um, but I know a lot of people do, so I figured it'd be a good video, so. So this is the Maxima side, the SC1 side. And I can say with certainty that the CR Viking stuff definitely is a little bit shinier. This is a bit more of a, you know, matte finish. It's certainly not matte, but it's not as glossy as the CR Viking. And I'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing. That's just an observation of mine. But anyway, going to Tall Pines. So uh, catch up with you guys after the weekend. All right, guys, back from Tall Pines. Put you guys on a time lapse here. You can see, we're definitely gonna be putting this stuff to the test. So, uh, show you guys on time lapse and we'll come back with the results here in probably a half an hour.
Uh, I got it mostly cleaned up. I got the skid plates dropped off of it. I'm gonna try to get some of that mud and stuff out that's, you know, kind of trapped between the frame and the skid plates and everything. So drop those off, but we'll walk out here. I'll show you kind of, show you what we ended up with. It's so subjective. I don't know that one product worked better than the other. They definitely both worked though. I can 100% say that. I had about an hour into washing this thing and you know, it's so hard to track your time and say, well, I spent more time on, you know, one side than the other. Um, the SC1 maybe if, it's so hard to tell, but it might've worked just slightly better. But then again, I might've finished on the passenger side I'd have to look back at the video. If I finished on the passenger side, good chance I sprayed every, you know, stuff over onto this side. But this side's definitely a little bit dirtier. But they definitely both make a world of difference when you're coming home and you know you got to pressure wash your side by side or your dirt bike after a, you know, mudder. Those products are a lifesaver because nobody, we all enjoy riding better than we do washing. I'm fairly confident of that. Um, so anyway, I guess uh, I got to look up the prices of these and see which one's more expensive. So the Sierra Viking is like nine ninety eight a can for a twelve ounce can, and the SC one, from what I saw, is the same price. It depends on what website you go to. Some you know might have free shipping, some might not, but overall they're pretty much equal in price so honestly it really comes down to whatever you guys think you know if, if, if it was me you know i might run down to kerns and grab a can of this stuff um just because i'm local i'd like to support local and they're not going to charge me shipping or anything like that if i get it from the store so um hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll catch you guys on the next one